everybody, I am Jerk, and this is the big show. I don't think I need to say anything. Just like the old videos before a microphone where I could post riveting gameplay that if I was lucky, 30 people might watch accidentally. But contractually, I am obligated by the studio to add color commentary now and host a program. So I guess I will. We knew this day was coming like a mentally ill patient standing on a bucket on the sidewalk holding a sign saying, Repent, for the end is extremely f nigh. Anyone who would listen, I would say the destroyer apocalypse is coming, or Clebergeddon approaches. And they would look at each other, smirk, and be like, Um, I have a conqueror. I will just nuke any destroyer, or psh, aircraft carriers, bro. That's going to counter it. Well, hold on to your butts, because today's guest is one that I've had circled on my calendar. I've teased for a while, and we are peaches and herb reunited, and it feels so good. Let's get them out here for a damage record-setting performance. Ladies and gentlemen, the legendary tier French destroyer, give it up again for Club Bear. <laughs> Christmas in July. I awoke blurry-eyed from a night of libations, put on a suit, and sat down for this interview. I think this was maybe my sixth match of the morning, so while earlier this week I had been playing the fantastic to re-familiarize myself with French Destroyer gameplay, I was all too happy to reenact the last scene of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, and in the misery of my lobotomized former favorite destroyer, the Fantask and figuratively throw the water fountain through the window and escape into the now loving arms of Legendary Tier. Let me go ahead and put my commander and modules up on the big screen so you can see ain't a damn thing changed, but I'm going to be getting Philippe Amberger up to Legendary 4 next week because, you know, I feel like this needs just a little bit more speed. I've been saying for a while that people need to stop playing battleships in Tier 7 and up. Well, not stop, but not only play battleships. Because without cruisers there to be the proverbial paper to the destroyer's rock, this rock is just going to smash the scissors over and over. And you may have noticed that there is a carrier on the red team who is damage chasing rather than spotting, and while the Fantask has barely any AA, Kleber's is at least functional, though by no means stellar, but good enough to shoot down planes and get back to your plans of ruining everyone's day. This ship exploits even the smallest mistakes a team makes. There was a Z-23 who had me located to start the match, and... So I was hoping our carrier would take care of them. They at least scared them away, which essentially allows me to get in the middle of all these battleships here and do what the Kleber does, which is drop the kids off at the pool, swimming 80 knots in every direction in rapid succession. And sink battleships, we will. First, we will get this Vladivostok, and then we will turn our attention to our next victim, who, without the aid of a destroyer or radar cruiser or carrier spotting for them, is being forced to flee to an area they think will be safe. But thanks to this ship's speed, it is not safe. Nowhere is safe. Kleber absolutely has to be a team's primary target. If Ashima and Kleber are spotted, you shoot the Kleber. And that may sound counterintuitive because Shima has 15 nuclear-tipped warheads to Kleber's 12, but the Kleber is the spawn of Shima and Kabarov's spending a quarantine together, and the babby that pops out has all the best traits of both, minus a smoke. And that means it can be virtually anywhere a few minutes into the match, as that conqueror just discovered and now as this Yamato is about to discover reversing in your battleship isn't an option not when the very thing you are so afraid of is right behind you have you checked the children the call is coming from inside your house 
This Yamato surely knows what's coming, and I would feel a little bit of sympathy, except all they have done is sit still while they watch the other battleships that spawn with them explode. <laughs> and you may be saying, well, what should they have done? And it's easier said than done, that they should have moved forward and supported their teammates in whatever fashion they could. Would that have changed the outcome? Uh, you never know. But supporting your teammates when you're a solo player, you know, that is how you win games. It doesn't matter. So I think it was the first video I did on this ship where I said the best move that you can do as a battleship is to point your nose to the corner of the map, go over there, and then just unplug and go back to war. Because <laughs> that's how this is going to be. That's how this is going to be until there are serious legendary tier cruisers and we know um that even when they are introduced which they probably will at some point soon they're going to take three months to even show up in game and i don't if you listen to the podcast that robin was on recently he talked about how you know of course they would love to have the des moines in there but they will have to nerf it because otherwise it will be so op and i think this is the real problem of why we're not seeing any legendary tier cruisers is how do you balance them to not absolutely wreck everything and i don't know i mean they're doing a great job with these uh, destroyers aren't they i have a pretty decent idea of where their carrier is and i believe they may have disconnected it's hard to say i haven't seen them launch any planes recently so while i plan on moseying on over to them to introduce myself I will first need to shake hands with this Iowa who has heard a rattle outside the window in the middle of the night, turn on the kitchen light as is investigating with their baseball bat. And you might be saying, well, maybe this is just a fluke game jerk. Maybe this isn't how they all go, but it is how they all go. Have you guys ever known for me to exaggerate? Okay, well, maybe I exaggerate a little bit sometimes, but in all of the games I have played today, Except for, I think there was one or two that were a loss. In every game that I have played today, my XP was over 3,000. Uh, most games, I was averaging about 200,000 damage. And I think I won all of them except for two. Um, but even there, I was, you know, first place. But that's just the power of this ship. Watch this yoink. Looks like it's mine, right? E what? <laughs> the Yudachi burnt them to death, and hey, here's the carrier. All right, we've got 200,000 damage, high caliber, two death strikes, so let's just go ahead and throw a third on there, and then we just need to find one more victim to get our beloved Kraken. Do we have any volunteers? Anyone? Anyone? Oh, the Z-23 has reappeared, coming back to defend their base. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your cooperation. Now, let me just get these guns turned around and we can start cycling them. And you may recall from previous videos, the guns on here are very good as well. They are 139 millimeters. Very capable of hitting the Citadel on cruisers, and uh, it is still very lulzy to sink radar cruisers with this. But this uh, Z-23, why won't you cooperate? So they get in their smoke to drop spot, and of course nothing can see me now. And they're just sitting in there, so I guess we will just have to drop more kids off at the pool and wait for them to leave their smoke let's just flush them out of here you can't hide in the closet forever jason Voorhees is still out here with the kitchen knife i think i hear them breathing yeah, did you guys hear that but they choose to suffocate in the smoke instead. And here it comes. Bonk. Kraken 257 in the Kleber. 
And at this point, I was thinking, okay, well, let's go ahead and get that six-pack. This could have conceivably been a jackpot if we had gotten that Iowa, but uh, I'm not going to be able to get this uh, Alaska anyway. They're going to they're gonna get to it too fast. So, yeah, pretty good game. 273,555 damage, which as of this moment is the damage record. So let's just go ahead and jump to the scoreboard. 3,376 XP, absolutely crushing the red team. GG's. But this is what you all have to look forward to now. There is no doubt in my mind that this will become my most played ship until we get some legendary cruisers. And there is little reason to take out much else in the high tiers, so I look forward to seeing you all out there, but you won't see me. And that wraps it up for this one. If you now believe me that the end has come, hit like. If you are still waiting for one more Plague of Locust to form your opinion, hit dislike. And if you want to see me break 300,000 damage with this, then think about touching the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll get back out there for another one soon, and we'll talk then.